Today's video is sponsored by Kingston's Mobile Light Wireless G2 Wireless Media Reader. Hey friends and family, glad to see you guys back here once again on the Tech and Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Elk, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at something very interesting from the people over at Gigabyte. This is the new Gigabyte Brix Pro. So what is the Brix Pro? Well, basically, it's a knuck on steroids. Now, this thing's not quite a gaming machine. I mean, it'll play games like WoW and stuff like that, okay? Dota 2, it'll play games like that. Any of the extreme first-person games, it gets too hot and doesn't really game. But if you're looking for a media computer and you want something really small, compact and powerful and something that can slap just right in the back of your TV, I think this is something that you're going to want to be looking for. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the Brix Pro by Gigabyte. The bundle in the Gigabyte's Brix Pro box contains the manual. It also includes the metal plate for mounting to the back of your TV to a wall, includes the power cable, the power brick, and the unit itself. And last but not least, the driver's CD. Now, as far as the specs go, let's start out by taking a look at the outside of the unit and how big it is. Now, this thing sizes in at 62 by 111 by 4 by 114 by 4 millimeters, which translates into 2.4 by 4.3 by 4.5 inches. The motherboard size is in at 100 by 105 millimeters, and it's considered to be an ultra compact PC form factor. The CPU running the Brix Pro is the Intel i7-4770R. This is a quad-core CPU running at 3.9 gigahertz, which is pretty impressive for such a small little unit. And the graphics are provided by the Intel Iris Pro 5200 graphics chip, which is embedded into the CPU. As far as the memory goes, you get two SODIMM slots, which can support up to 16 gigabytes of 1333 or 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory. For surfing the internet and getting all that important information, LAN is provided by the Gigabyte LAN, which is the Realtek RTL8811G chipset. Audio is provided by the Realtek ALC269 chipset. As far as internal expansion goes, you get a single MSATA slot, a half-size mini PCI slot, which is currently occupied by the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card, and a single SATA slot. For up to your monitor, there are two types of connections. There's the HDMI and the main display port. The HDMI has a maximum resolution of 4096 by 2304 at 24 hertz. The main display port supports resolutions up to 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. So that's what's on the inside. So what do we get on the outside? Well, we'll start out in the back first. You can see there are two USB 3.0 ports, the LAN port, the main display port, the HDMI port, and finally the power connection. On the front, there are two USB 3.0 ports and a single SPDIF connector for your audio. Now, when the Gigabyte Brix Pro ships out to you, it ships as a bare bone unit, which means that you have to add a few parts to the unit to make it go. You have to add the OS. We use Windows 8.1. You have to use either an MSATA or a SSD or a regular 2.5 inch hard drive. We use a 240 gigabyte 530 SSD from Intel. Now, as far as the memory goes, it obviously takes up to 16 gigabytes of SODIMM DDR3. We used eight gigabytes of Kingston DDR3 memory. All right, folks, so those are all the specs. Now, you guys can see, though, this thing is so ultimately tiny. I mean, it's literally smaller than my hand and is about as thick as both of my hands put together. So it's actually a very, very small unit. So with that said, though, now let's rock out to the benchmark song and check out how it does in gaming.
All right, folks, so there you guys have it, the Brix Pro. Now, obviously, for any kind of intense hardcore gaming, this thing's not going to handle it at all. For playing Dota 2 and Original Sin and stuff like that, it does okay. You guys can see it's bopping over 30 frames per second, so that's not bad at all. But for a media streaming thing, hey, this thing is really, really cool. Now, before we finish up the video, I just want to real quick give a special shout out to Kingston for making this video possible. So now let's check out the Mobile Light G2. The Mobile Light G2 is a very interesting product. You can not only stream media, you can extend your storage, charge your smartphones, read media, and stay connected to the Ethernet through its included Ethernet port. The card reader supports SD, SDHC, SDXC, and micro SD. SCHC, SDXC cards, and USB flash drives. Everything you need to get started, except for your actual media, is included in the box. All right, folks, so there you have it. Everything about the new Gigabyte Brix Pro. Like I said, this thing's not geared for hardcore gaming, but for media streaming thing, this thing is pretty damn cool. Now, obviously, because it's so small, it is pretty pricey. This thing's about $600. Now, I know a lot of people are going to want to leave their comment below going, oh, screw that. I can build a PC for better than that. Yeah, I'm sure that you can, but... Now answer this honestly, can you build a PC this small? Because if you can't, seriously, shut up. Like, because like, I know you can build a giant tower for cheaper, but when you can build a system that's this tiny, then that's saying something. Like I said earlier in the video, the parts that we use inside of this, we used a 240 gigabyte Intel SSD, the 530 series, and we also used eight gigabytes of Kingston so dim memory. So I'm Elric, thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. All this information will be down there below the like button, all the equipment that we use in this video, so I know a lot of people out there ask, what did you guys use to make this video? We'll have all of that down below the like button. I hope you guys like this video, so hit that like button while you're down there and show us that we're appreciated. I'm Elric, thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you're not subbed, hey, you know what to do. See ya.